and today I am doing a single player a single player tutorial on Volts Rockets. For those of you who don't know what Volts is, it's basically like Tech It. It just involves a lot more stuff. Um, and today I'm going to be focusing on one of the coolest parts of this game mode, the missiles. Okay, so what I have here is a T3 missile launcher. This is the most advanced missile launcher that you can get, uh, along with the T3 control panel and the T3 support frame. Now, there, there is a T1, a T2, and a T3 frame. The T1 will only launch the most basic of missiles. T2 will launch the most basic and the next-gen missiles. And then uh, T3 will launch every single missile, including the uh, elite missiles, like the... Oops like the uh, uh, red matter and antimatter, and we'll get into that later. But as for right now, I'm going to sh um, show you guys how this works. So basically, uh, you do need a power source as with anything that involves electricity and volts. So go away. I don't care about what's going on with Apple iPhone. Anyway, so uh, what I've done is I've taken a couple of advanced solar panels and just hooked them up. Now, when you uh, hook up a power source to one of these launchers, you have to directly connect the wire to the control panel. Uh, okay, and uh, it will slowly start. Re uh, it'll slowly start producing power and powering uh, the uh, launcher. As you see down here, it says 480 volts. It says 800 kilojoules out of 800 kilojoules, which basically means as soon as we put a rocket in here, we are ready to launch. So I am going to actually start out with the most common missile called the conventional missile. These are very easy to, uh, to create. All they uh, take is one condensed explosive and one uh, uh, missile module. Now I'm actually not going to show you how uh, these, uh, ah, excuse me, the crafting recipes on these rockets Mainly because it would take up so much time, especially on some of the later ones, like the red matter and the antimatter. So, um, but if you play this, um, if you play this game mode, there is basically uh, a an, an inventory uh, thing where you can just scroll over what you want to see, and you hit R, and it will give you the recipe, and you can you know just work from there. Okay, so unfortunately. Uh, in volts, there is no really high-tech way to launch a missile, so you literally have to uh, hook it up with some redstone and a lever. So uh, let me get that set up real quick, and it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as you know it's connected directly to the launch pad. Okay, three, two, one, and we'll be right back. One more time. Three, two, one. There we go. It's working now. My bad. I screwed up. Okay, so as you see, a conventional missile is maybe um, 1.5 to maybe 2 times your average creeper. Again, this is a very simple rocket to make. Um, it, it only involves one conventional uh, explosive and uh, one missile module. So it's, it's a really easy recipe once you uh, get it down. <coughs> the hardest thing, of course, is going to be getting the missile module, because the missile module does take up a lot of resources. Or not, uh, not a lot, but a decent amount. So yeah, um, that was the conventional missile. Now the next one I'm going to show you is the shrapnel missile. And it basically says what, the name, it, what it says in the name. I mean, it, it's literally a shrapnel missile. Uh, Okay, uh, it's actually getting night time, so I'm going to pause the recording. Almost juiced up. Ready to launch. Okay, that is one thing that uh, is a disadvantage to these rocket silos. Once you fire them, they do need to uh, to um, recharge, I guess you could say, with more power. But anyway, let's go ahead and launch it. Okay, it's going above the clouds. There it is. Okay, so it might have been a little hard to see, 
But basically what that did was it created like a small little crater. And uh, inside that explosive, there were arrows. And once you put eight arrows around what's called a repulsive explosive, basically this just makes sure that all the arrows are going to fly out in all different directions. It, I, I know that was kind of hard to see, but you know. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is actually one of my favorites, the incendiary missile. And you can guess what it does by the name. Uh, let me make sure we're still getting power. Okay. So, um, I guess I will pause the recording until we get juiced up. We're all juiced up, and we are ready to go. Uh, now, I'm not actually going to do it just for the sake of the recording, but what is cool about these uh, rockets is that if you go up and you right-click on them, you can actually ride the rocket. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, because there's a, you know, a giant yellow thing in the way, but you can uh, basically ride the rocket, which is pretty cool, and I can't seem to get off. Uh, okay, hang on just a second, guys. Okay, almost had a bit of a dilemma there. Anyway, so yeah, you can ride the rockets if you truly wanted to, but my suggestion is make sure that you do not have anything important in your inventory. Okay, so three, two, one, off it goes. And we're going to follow it. There it is. And look what it does. See, that? that is just really awesome to me. I don't know about you guys. And then, of course, you know, it starts slowly dying off. But it's really effective against anybody who's using uh, really any kind of uh, wood or, you know, uh, any anything flammable they make their if they make their structure flammable then you know that's a really good rocket to use against them we are juiced up and the next rocket we're going to talk about is the debilitation rocket um if i remember correct this basically um i think it gives you blindness slowness and one other thing but i can't remember what it is anyway uh for a certain amount of time and it's like really dramatic effects. So I'm actually, uh, just to show you guys, I will launch it and I will stand in the blast zone just so you can see the effects. It's not really le- I don't know if it's lethal or not. Okay, so now, now I can't see a thing. Oh, okay, it gives you nausea too, apparently. It gives you slowness three for a minute and if you stay in there, of course, you know, it's gonna give you even more. And it's going to keep resetting. Uh, mining fatigue and nausea. Well, oops. Uh, okay. But if you get out of the if you get out of the zone, the blast zone thingy. Oh my goodness, that's going to make me motion sick. Then uh, eventually, it does go away. See now you can see that the timers are not resetting. And it's basically just just a way to uh, really just tick people off which in some cases can be fun, of course, but it's mainly, it's not really lethal. It's just really just to tick them off. So yeah, anyway, uh, next rocket we're going to talk about is the chemical rocket. And it literally says that it's a chemical rocket. So obviously, this is lethal to a point. So anyway, launch! I, I don't think this thing causes an explosion. I think it just gives you chemical effects. Okay, stand in it for a little bit. Uh, it gives you nausea. Okay, it gives you hunger for about 30 seconds. Weakness for about 30 seconds. Mining fatigue for uh, a minute. Toxin for about, eh, I don't know, maybe 25 seconds. And nausea. And, of course, you know, if I was in... Uh, survival mode, and I didn't get out of that, of course, I, you know, I would have died. But, luckily, survival mode, or, I mean, creative mode, yay! Next missile energy is charging up. The next missile we will talk about is the anvil missile. Now, I've never actually used this, 
uh, type of missile before, but from what I understand, it's basically like a shrapnel missile, except it throws anvils everywhere instead of, of course, you know, uh, arrows. And, you know, it's got a little boxing glove on it. Look, look, he's a little boxing glove. It's a little boxing glove. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, anyway, so are we done charging? Yes, we are. Three, two, one, boop, and we go. Well, that was anticlimactic. One thing, you see this little support beam back here? It is actually not necessary to launch a missile with that behind it. Uh, but what it does is it improves the accuracy. See, it says inaccuracy zero blocks. If I didn't have that frame back there, it would uh, probably say like 25, maybe 30 blocks. Okay, anyway. Uh, uh, okay, anyway. So I did actually skip a few uh, rockets, mainly because... Uh, the next two are really, really boring. They really don't do a whole lot. Um, a repulsive missile uh, basically creates like a little tiny explosion, but it uh, it forces basically like any mobs or anything uh, away from the explosion. And the attractive missile does basically the exact opposite of what that does. Now the one we have on the missile silo now is actually the first of the second tier rockets. We have a fragmentation missile. Now, this for I know for a fact, because I've used it before in survival mode, is basically like a shrapnel, except it throws out instead of just arrows, like I think it's like I think it's like 30 or 40 different explosive uh, charges that will just fly everywhere and explode, which is actually pretty cool. So yeah, let's watch it. It's gonna be awesome. See, you can see all the little charges going everywhere. And uh, if my chunks would load a little bit faster. But yeah, see, that's basically what that does. It just uh, kind of throws little charges everywhere and makes them explode. Question is the sonic missile. Now, I actually don't truly know what this one does. I mean, I kind of know what it does. But uh, I'm not really going to talk about it because I'm probably going to end up being wrong. Uh, I did skip another missile on this one. I skipped the Contagious missile because it's basically just like a chemical missile, except it's a little bit more severe. Uh, I mean, it's, it's you know, nothing too impressive, really, though. So, uh, anyway, are we completely charged? We are. Okay. Three, two, one. Bam! Let's see what it does. Hits the ground. Whoa! Okay, that was actually pretty cool. That was actually really cool. They're still falling. Dude, that's epic. That was so epic. It's actually the breaching missile. Now, uh, for this one, I have built a basic cobblestone structure right here just to show you guys what this thing can do okay and it it it's called a breaching charge or a breaching rocket for a for, for a reason i mean it really is three two one bam and off we go look what it does blows the entire floor out from under the house which in my mind is pretty cool I mean cuz I mean you know you just have like one of your one of your enemies just you know sitting there at his crafting table you know building some stuff and he's like la, 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 and then <laughs> he's like five levels lower anyway this missile, in my opinion is one of the coolest it is called the rejuvenation missile and it basically does exactly the opposite of every other rocket in this game uh so just to show you i put it i still have the coordinates set on that little cobblestone structure 
Uh, and this is actually going to be, I, I don't know if it will repair the cobblestone structure, but it should repair the ground under it, or the majority of it anyway. Uh, it has a very limited radius, I believe. Look at that. Completely restored to the way it was before. That is pretty cool. Question is the last of the tier two rockets. It's called the Thermobaric. Now I actually do not know what this one does. I have never even attempted to launch one, so I really don't know. Uh, okay, so we are ready to launch. Three, two, one. Let's see what this bad boy does. Okay. Oh! Chunks just loaded. Chunks just loaded. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. That That is actually pretty cool. It's like a little miniature nuclear uh, missile. Okay, so the next one will actually be the nuke, I believe. Let me check. Is the most basic of the tier 3 missiles, the nuclear missile. Now, I actually had to set the waypoint like way off that way just so it wouldn't destroy everything that we have set up here. Um, okay, so are we ready? Yep, okay, we're just up to ready to go. Three, two, one. Um, where's it at? I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. However, I do know that the... Oh, it, it like detonated way back here. What the crap? Where's that? It was like right here where it was supposed to detonate. Wasn't it? Oh, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, it's over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, there's your there's your nuke right there. It's basically like a thermo barrack or whatever it was called missile. Except it's a lot larger and it leaves these irradiated blocks. Now, if you stand on these irradiated blocks, it actually gives you toxin, or no, it gives you radiation for, I believe, a total of 20 seconds until you actually get off of, get out of the general um, <clears throat> radiation area. But yeah, that's the nuke for you, right there. Mm. Yeah, 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 okay. There we go. Okay, it's done now. Anyway, the next missile that we have in question is called the Hypersonic. Now, I don't really know what this one does, but I imagine, judging by the name, that it is basically a bigger version of the Sonic missile. But, we'll see. Anyway, 321. Oh, okay, 321, there we go. Now, I think, it, yeah, okay, it's coming over here. Here it comes, coming down. Yep, it's basically just like a, a giant version of the uh, sonic missile. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Yay! 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 It's raining. Make it rain. Make it rain. All right, next missile. Okay, so the next rocket in question is the anti-gravitational. Now, I actually did skip a, uh, a missile. It's called the Ender Missile. Basically, all it does is create like a tiny little portal uh, in an explosion that sends you to the end. But yeah, so it's, it's not it's it's kind of a waste of time, really. So uh, I didn't even really worry about it. But anyway, the next one we have is the anti-gravitational missile, and it literally says in the name that it's anti-gravitational. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it and show you guys what it does. Here, as soon as it loads up, and we're ready. Okay, three, two, one. Look at that. Look at it. Look, look. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, it's coming down. And this is literally what it does. Look, it's even pushing me up. It just takes a whole bunch of blocks, and it basically, you know, reverses gravity on them, and they start floating up into the air. Uh, into oblivion. See, look. Whee! It's so cool! It's so cool. It's so... It's so cool. And of course, if you were in the middle of that, you kind of get a little beaten around by all the different cobblestone blocks and stuff. 
Anyway, yeah, anti-gravitational missile. Next missile. Okay, now it's back. Anyway, next missile in question, I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way, is the red matter missile. Now, this thing is lethal as crap. Like, no joke. I, I'm not even going to try and explain what it does. I'm just going to show it to you guys if it will allow me to launch it. Okay, it's working. Yay! Watch what this thing does. This is this is one of the coolest missiles in the game, I, I, I would say. Okay, it's, it's pointing down. It's coming down. Oh, there's still coal blocks laying, uh, floating up. That's pretty cool. Here it comes. It literally creates a giant black hole. This, look at all the sheep. They're getting they're getting sucked in. It literally creates a black hole that just sucks literally everything in. Now, the only way to counteract that that uh, red matter void is to get an antimatter missile. Now, uh, hang on. I gotta get back to my my station. I gotta I gotta save the world. I gotta save the world. Yeah, it is actually a very powerful rocket, so it's not something to be toyed with. Anyway, this is an this is an antimatter missile. It basically, if you don't launch it uh, directly at a red matter uh, red matter void, it will cut through bedrock, which is actually pretty cool. And it's literally called antimatter for a reason. Uh, is it done? Okay, so I'm just gonna try and fill time while. Wow. While this thing uh, charges you up. Oops, what's that? Do, 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 do. I'm, uh, you, you guys are watching me fail at parkour while we wait for this thing to charge up. Is it done yet? People don't want to see me fail at parkour anymore. Do 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 Okay, it's almost done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's done. Ready, three, two, one, bam. Save the world. And uh, I might launch another one just to show you guys what it actually does without being uh, launched into a red matter void. Okay, you, you can still see the red matter void down there. I'm gonna try and get as close to it as possible. See, it's it's sucking everything in. Antimatter. Bam, look at that. It's gone, and it, you know, it basically leaves like a giant, oh, oh, okay, chunks just loaded, chunks just loaded. But see, literally, this is what an antimatter missile does, and if it had gone any deeper, it would have cut through bedrock. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, pretty, pretty powerful friggin' rocket. Anyway, next rocket, okay, there we go. It's not frozen now. Anyway, I actually did forget a second gen uh, rocket. It's called the cluster missile. Uh, basically, all it does is it just splits into like three different uh, missiles. It's actually pretty cool though. It's a little inaccurate though, uh, I have to say. So wait, uh, uh, okay, we got a problem with power. So I'll just uh, pause it until we're done. Okay, so all we're doing now is we're just sitting here right, waiting for this to uh, to charge up. It's almost done. Anyway, as I was saying, this rocket basically just splits off into, I think, three or four different rockets. Um, I think it has three conventional rocket explosives in it. And I think it has a fragmentation, but I'm not sure. So it's 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 kind of powerful, but it's not really. I mean, it's it's kind of a waste of a fragmentation missile. Uh, just because fragmentation missile, in my opinion anyway, does a little bit more damage. See? And then, of course, you go down here, chunks load. Uh, okay, maybe this actually does a little bit more damage. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, that's the uh, cluster missile for you. Um, yeah, okay, next rocket. Okay, there we go. Now we're back. Okay, and the last missile on the list, let me make some minor adjustments, is the nuclear cluster missile. And it's basically like the cluster missile, except you guessed it, it launches nukes. 
Now, for this test, you see that giant snow mountain over there, that snow uh, stone mountain. That's uh, the target. So, yeah. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this done. 3, 2, 1. Boop. Now, it may actually take a little bit for the chunks to load because it is like three nukes in one. So, yeah, you might, guys might not see uh, the effects for a little bit. Okay, so there's the particle effect. So far, nothing has happened. But wait. There goes another one. Another one just went off. Uh, I think that might have been the last of them. And here come the particles. Or here come the, the chunks, I mean. See, uh, yeah, so it, it uh, basically demolishes anything in its path. Uh, let's see, is this the extent of it, or does it go further? I think it goes further. Oh, yeah, it goes, uh, like, way further this way. Uh, let's see, does it go back uh, behind the mountain any? No, it looks like they all just kind of dropped right there. Anyway, yeah, it's basically like three, oh, uh, I have radiation three. Anyway, yeah, that's the effect. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, it's basically three nukes in one, I believe. Uh, and they just split off and, you know, they blow stuff up. So, yeah, anyway, if you guys like this commentary, be sure to leave a like in the description. Uh, leave a like in the description. Wow. Wow, Chase. Really? Really? Okay. Anyway, if you guys want another tutorial, uh, just uh, let me know in the comments, and I will be sure to try and do it as soon as I can. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for games, uh, I will be happy to take them. Uh, I actually do have a little bit of money now, so I will be able to pay for a few games, but not very many. Um, still, you know, slightly broke, but a little less broke than I was before. So I will, of course, take suggestions. I I'll always take suggestions, whether or not I have money. Um, and uh, if you guys like this uh, tutorial, leave a like, and uh, subscribe, and uh, thanks you guys for watching, and I've literally run out of things to say. Okay, so I'm just going to end it here before I look like a total idiot, which has probably already happened. So, see you guys later.